Hey y'all, welcome back to Two Fat Girls. It's me, Mandy. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do, which I've been thinking about this one for a while, and I've narrowed my list down a whole lot, but I wanted to do some of my favorite fat girl things, and by favorite fat girl things, I mean I've picked out a book, um, a singer, uh, I think I've got two TV shows and a movie. So I just find these, like, you know, fat girl inspiring things and one of them is new like it's it's on TV right now well not here of course I you guys know how I like my TV I like it British so um let's just go ahead and get on with um, it Let number one this. is a book and the book is by Sarah Addison Allen which she's got one, two, three. I think she's got four books, and she's finishing up another one right now. Um, the book is called The Sugar Queen. This is the book. Um, I remember seeing this book at Barnes & Noble on one of the tables, and I was like, oh, that, you know, like, covers always, you know, get my attention first thing. And so I seen that book on the table, and it was, it was too much. I'm like, I can't buy that. So I went back again you know, probably like a month or so later, and they had it, and it was on sale. I want to say it was like, you know, so much percent off. It wasn't 50% off, but it was a little bit off. So I'm like, I'm totally getting this book. I bought it, and I started reading it, and then I sat it down, and I never picked it back up. Well, a couple weeks later, I picked it back up and started reading it again, and I read, the, I read it, like, in its entirety in one night and I had to be to work at nine in the morning I remember that and I think I stayed up to like four finishing this book and then I read it and then I gave it to Tiff and Tiff read it and she loves it um, and I've let like two two other people borrow this book so this book has been you know this book has made the rounds um, but the number one I want to say look how soft this book is I mean it's, it's like a pillow you can just lay on it. I love this book so much. You just don't know how much I love this book. But the book is about all her books usually revolve around two women. Um, in this book, the main character's name is Josie. And um, she's kind of, there's something, okay, all of her books have like a running magical theme. And not magical in a cheesy way, magical in stuff that it's just it's so hard to explain without reading any of her books. But um, the girl in this book, uh, Sarah Addison Allen, I, she's from, where is she from? Because all of her books take place in the South. Um, crap. I can't remember where she's from now. But she is from the South. So, um, anyway, she, this is a girl, she's like in her 20s. And her mom is a real bitch, basically. And her mom's always telling her, you know, don't wear makeup um, because, you know, you don't look good in makeup. Don't wear red. And, like, her favorite sweater is red. And every time she wears this red sweater, good things happen to her. So she thinks it's like her magic sweater. And every time she wears it, her mom's always like, take it off. You know, you don't look good in that color. But really what it is is her mom is jealous of her. Josie, is she's like an overweight girl. She never really says how overweight, but she describes her as, you know, chubby. And she still lives at home with her mom. And um, she doesn't have very many friends. She's, like, very sheltered. Um, she runs a lot of errands for her mom. She takes her mom everywhere. Um, her life basically revolves around this mom who's mean to her. And so she has her closet, okay? And in her closet, there's, like, this little compartment in there. It describes how it is, but in this compartment in her closet, she keeps nothing but junk food, like chips and donuts and cookies and soda and all this other stuff. And she sits in her closet and she eats it because she doesn't want her mom to know that she's got all this stuff. And she has to sneak this food into the house so her mom doesn't know because, you know, of course her mom's going to say shit to her. Well, one day she wakes up and she opens her closet door and there is a woman in her closet and the woman's name is Della Lee, I think. Yeah, Della Lee. And Della Lee is in her closet and basically she can't get in her closet no more because this woman is in it and she won't leave, which I won't give you away, you know, who the woman is. She vaguely knows of this woman and the woman is, you know, hiding out in her closet. 
And so it kind of ends up being, you know, Del Lee won't get, let her get in her closet and eat no more. So she has to get out and Del Lee's telling her, you know, oh, go do this, go do that. And she has a crush on the mailman, of course. And the mailman's like super hot, of course. And um, then the second woman, her name is Joe. No, 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 not Josie. Where's her name at? Chloe. Her name is Chloe, and she becomes friends with this woman. And by the end of the book, you know, Del Lee, Chloe, and um, Josie, they all intertwine. All their stories come together. And it is so good. I have read this book, I bet you, like, ten times. I, I've read it so many times. Um, and it's just really good and lighthearted. And, you know, it's like, you know, the, the fat girl, like, prevailed and, you know, she had a wonderful life. Um, but you, like, I really, really recommend this book. I love it. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is, this is a singer. Oh, my God, this is already long. It's already long. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is Beth Ditto. She is a singer. Um, she has uh, maybe two solo albums. She's really popular with the group Gossip. Um, and the thing with Beth Ditto and Gossip is they are very popular in the UK. Um, she is a large girl, very large girl, but the thing is, is she gives no dams. Um, she's posed naked on the cover of a magazine. I think it was called Love. Um, she has her own fashion line. Of course, it's in the UK. You can, I think you can get some online. I've never looked at it. But she has a voice that will just blow you away. And she gets on stage, and if she gets hot, she's going to take her clothes off and sing in her Spanx and her bra. She gives no dams, none. Um, and she wears, like, crazy makeup. And, I mean, she's just super cool. Um, and the music is really good. I love a lot, a lot of gossip music. Um, Standing in the Way Control is really good. Um, now, some of her outfits, if you think about it, she's almost like a plus-size Lady Gaga is what she reminds me of. Only I think she was out before Lady Gaga. Um, and uh, she says she's like a punk rocker, so she doesn't shave underneath her armpits. And she doesn't wear deodorant um, because she just doesn't care. And she's like, you know what? I'm me. I don't care. Um, I'll put some links to music at the bottom down there, and you can check out Beth Ditto. And, um, but the thing is, is like her weight has never, like it, it, it's never held her back. I mean, she gets on stage and she doesn't care if you see her Spanx. She does not care. Her makeup is running all over her face and she's sweaty and hot. And she's like, Psh, I'm taking my clothes off. And, uh, I mean, she's just amazing. I, I really, really love her. Um, the fourth thing um, is a TV show, and it actually just recently got canceled, and it makes me so mad because it, like, ended so good, and it's Drop Dead Diva. Um, it was a Lifetime show. The basic plot, which it's so cheesy, which is why I love it. You guys know I love my cheese, and um, it's about a, a model. She's like a little skinny blonde model, and she gets into a car accident and she dies and she goes to heaven. Well, at the same time that this happens, um, there is a plus size lawyer who gets shot. Okay. And she, I don't think she died. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember. It's been a long time since I've seen that, that up the first episode, but anyway, um, while the skinny model is in heaven, she pushes the return button. Ha ha ha. Very easy. It's just the return button on the keyboard. She pushed it and she came back to earth. Only she came back in the lawyer's body. So she wakes up and she, you know, she died a skinny model and she wakes up like a short, chunky, brown haired woman. The only thing is, is like, she's still a little bit dizzy, but she's got all the lawyer smarts and she ends up, uh, she practices at the law firm that her fiance, the model's fiance, okay, he works at the law firm that the plus size girl was at, um, which her name is Jane. Jane is a plus size girl. Deb was the model. So she, when she goes back into Jane's body, she's working with her fiance, but her fiance is like, oh, you know, she died, blah, blah, blah. But she is in the plus size model. And then after a while, you know, his name is Grayson and he, he starts to see little things in Jane, like what's going on. That's something Deb would do. And, um, it just ended on the worst cliffhanger 
and ever. Like Grayson, by the end of the fourth season, he's kind of catching on that something's going on, something's going on. But then he kind of loves her for who she is, not just because, you know, he sees, you know, Deb and Jane, although Deb is literally in Jane. Deb is literally in Jane. Um, and it just ended like so horribly and like I don't think they're I, I mean it's obviously canceled I would love if Lifetime would just do a movie and end it so we could all know what happened or if like another network would just pick it up so we can end it um I am so mad the more I think about it, the more pissed off I get how could they do that to us like seriously like Deb and Deb slash Jane finally got together with Grayson which she's been pining over in this entire see you know this entire four seasons and they're gonna cancel it yeah thanks Lifetime for screwing us over five is a movie and the movie was really really hard for me to decide because there's so many fat girl movies out there like I like the original Hairspray movie I like the Hairspray musical um What's another one? Those are the only two I can think of because it was between that and this one. And the this one is Muriel's Wedding. Um, this is an Australian movie, and it's got a great ABBA soundtrack, number one. Um, Muriel is basically, you know, she's a big girl. She lives, uh, she's got a bunch of brothers and sisters. Her dad is basically a douchebag, and her mom just has lots of problems of her own. And she has always been obsessed with getting married. And ABBA music, of course. So, let me think how this goes. She moves away. A lot of stuff happens, and she moves away, and she tries to, she changes her name to Mariel. She wants everyone to call her Mariel instead of Muriel because she's trying to get away from everything. And she meets a girl that she used to go to high school with, and they get a, uh, an apartment together, and, you know, she's having, like, the best time of her life. And she ends up getting married to some guy who wants to be like an Olympic swimmer and he needs to get his green card or something like that to stay in the country, obviously. So she marries him and he doesn't want to marry her. He just wants to stay in the country. And um, so she gets, you know, this beautiful wedding. It's a wedding that she's always wanted. You know, there's ABBA music playing and she's got her great dress and all these people are there that she doesn't really know. And then like the girls who hated her before think she's all cool now because she's marrying this super hot guy. And, you know, of course, it all just falls apart from there. And, you know, then she realizes, you know what? I am who I am. Fuck everybody else. I'm going to go hang out with my BFF, you know, and that's, it's an awesome, awesome movie. And I think her name is Tawny Collette or Tony Collette. She actually gained weight for that movie because she's not that, you know, kind of like a Bridget Jones kind of diary thing, you know. Renee Zellweger gained weight even though blah, 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 whatever. But um, I love this movie. Love it so much. I can't tell you how many times I've seen it. I don't have it on DVD. I actually have it on VHS. And I was trying to find it for you, but I've packed all my VHS tapes away. And I don't know where. I think they're under my bed or they're in that closet. I don't know where they're at. But that is an awesome, awesome, awesome movie. I like, I want to watch it right now, but I don't have The last one I want to talk about, because this is running very long, um, is it's a new show. It's on E4. I don't know what E4 is. It's like a cable channel in the UK. <laughs> um, but it's called, I talked about it in the last vlog that I um, did. And it's called My Fat Mad Diary or My Mad Fat Diary. I've got it. I'm confused right now because I think I might have wrote it down wrong or I might be saying it wrong. Mad and fat could be reversed. But anyway, it's about a girl. Um, she's 16 and she just uh, got out of the, um, you know, like a psychiatric hospital. It's never really said what's happened yet because it's still ongoing. There's one episode left and I started watching it because I thought they all the episodes were out, but they're, they weren't all out. So I found out about it and then I found all the episodes are on YouTube and they had the first four up and I watched them all in one day, in one day and they're like an hour long. Um, so I watched them all and then I was looking for episode five and I'm like, where the hell is episode five? So then I'm like looking all over the computer for it and it's like, uh, it's not out yet. I'm like, seriously? I don't like to wait for stuff. That's what I like about being able to watch British television is usually when I get it, I don't have to wait. I can just watch it all. You know, I can watch it all in one city and it's awesome. But there's only six episodes and um, the, the fifth episode came out yesterday and it's so good. 
It's so good. And it's so funny. Like, Ray is the main girl. She is just hilarious. Hilarious. And it's like, you know, I don't know. She reminds me. It reminds me of stuff that me and Tip would say about, you know, it's it's great. And it takes place in the 90s. So there's like all kinds of 90s music. And everybody's wearing flannel and Oasis t-shirts. And everybody's got like light colored jeans on. And they're all rolled up. Um it's just really, really good. And anyway, she likes this boy. And of course he's like really skinny and hot and her best friend likes him. And that's kind of where it's ending up right now. And, you know, she's got all her own problems and nobody knows except her friend that she's been, um, in the psychiatric hospital. I can't even think of the right word. What's that word? It's not mental institution anymore. What's it called? Oh, well, I can't think I've got a headache. I've got a really bad headache. Um, she doesn't like get along with her mom very much. And her mom has got this uh, guy living with her. And he's like, they're, you know, they're trying to hide him from immigration. And they end up getting married. And it's just so, excuse me. It's just so funny. It's so hard to describe. But if you, it's on YouTube right now. Watch it right now. It's so great. Um, and the guy who plays Finn, which is the guy that she ends up liking, he is like so freaking hot. He is way hot and he's so young. Like, I, he's in his 20s and I'm like 30 and I feel like I'm like being all gross, like being like, oh my God, you're so hot. I want to touch you. Um, but yeah, whatever. And uh, it's just great, 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 great. And I don't know. Um, I've been trying to read around because I don't understand because they're saying it's the series finale, but in the UK, they call their season series. So I don't know if like they were doing it only in six episodes because it's based off a book by Ray Earl, like the real Ray Earl. So they're basing this off of her book. Um, and so some people are saying, you know, there could possibly be a second series. If not, it's just the one. I don't want it to just be the one. Which reminds me, Miranda just went off and Miranda ended awesomely, which Miranda is actually another kind of fat girl show. She's like six foot tall, you know, she's like a big girl and, um, that's, what is that? The third season. And it's just like, that's just absolute cheese too. I mean, it's just great. Some of the, con you know, it's funny, but it's predictable too. And I don't even care. I don't even care because the guy, what's his name? His name is Tom Ellis. He is hot as hell too is hot as hell and Miranda got to make out with him and it makes me sad there's like tons of stuff I want to talk about but seriously though check out if you check out anything off of this list my mad fat diary is what you need to watch um it's amazing 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 um, I <laughs> let's just listen just for a minute Okay. <laughs> Makes me so happy. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Anyway, I'm done talking. So, um, yeah. And The Sugar Queen. My Mad Fat Diary and The Sugar Queen. This is a great, great book. Great book. And it's, yeah. It's awesome. So, um, okay guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know what your favorite fat girl things are. Um, because I'm always curious and you know, I want to watch more stuff, listen to more music, especially if it's fat girl related, you know, fat girl power. So, <laughs> all right. Bye guys.